Having your phone lost or stolen is a nightmare. If you can't get it back, you'll have to replace it, and buying a new smartphone can be pretty expensive. Not to mention choosing the best Android device from the plethora of options is a hassle. Don't worry, we've given three best services for hacking or bypassing Android lock screen for different people. Different methods can fix different Android lock screen situations. Given below are some ways to bypass the lock screen of Android devices, such as unlocking Motorola, Alcatel, Vivo, Samsung, Xiaomi, etc. This method is most suitable for novice users and who have forgotten their account information. To unlock forgotten passwords, like PIN or Pattern Lock, we will first recommend DroidKit, Android Phone Toolkit, a complete Android solution that can unlock a locked Android phone with just a few clicks, and it has helped millions of users bypass its locked screen without any skill difficulties. And you can check its features below. You can use it to bypass any Android screen lock, like digital passcode, pattern, pin, fingerprint, face recognition, etc. Only a few clicks and minutes are needed. No technical knowledge requirement. You don't need to root your device, so your privacy will not be leaked at all. You can unlock any phone password, including 20,000 plus models of Android phones and tablets like Samsung Galaxy, Huawei, Xiaomi, Sony, etc. Besides, DroidKit gives you more options to recover data after factory resetting your device, a Google account, etc. And you can also use it to bypass Google verification. Step 1. Get the latest version of DroidKit and launch the tool on your computer. Now on the welcome page, go to the screen unlocker mode to initiate the progress. Step 2. Connect the phone to the computer, then click the start button. Step 3. DroidKit will detect your device and start preparing the configuration file. After it's complete, hit the Remove Now button. Step 4. Now, choose your device brand, then put your device in a recovery mode and wipe cache partition. Step 5. When the process finishes, click on the Complete button. Now you can set your device as new one. This method is suitable for users who still remember their Google account. Android Device Manager, also known as Find My Device or ADM, is developed by Google to help remotely locate, lock, or wipe Android phones. Android Device Manager Unlock is probably the second best service that can be used to bypass Android lock screen unlocked Android smartphones and tablets. Using this service is very simple and can be used as long as the user is logged into their Google account. The service can be accessed and used on any device or any computer. Before using Android Device Manager Unlock, there are some prerequisites that must be met. One. Enable Android Device Manager on your phone. 2. Enable location services from your phone settings. 3. Link it to your Google account. Next follow the steps to unlock. Step 1. Navigate to Google, then open Security from Settings option to turn on Find My Device, ADM. Push the sliders on Remotely Locate this device and allow Remote Lock and Wipe to the right. Step 2. Go to Find My Device and log into your Google account. Step 3. Enable Location Access on your phone by going to Settings, scrolling down to Location option, and turning it on. Step 4. Open the Android Device Manager website on a browser via Mac slash PC or other mobile phone and log into your Google account. Step 5. Select the device you wish to unlock and click on the Erase Device option. But if the device is offline or turned off, you cannot get the location of the phone when it is lost. Method 3 is a solution for professionals. You can check this way to bypass Android lock screen without reset if you once enabled USB debugging on your Android phone. Here is what you need to do to solve how to bypass Android lock screen. Connect your Android phone to your computer. Open a command prompt window in your ADB installation directory. Type ADB shell rm slash data slash system slash gesture dot key. Then click enter. Reboot your phone and the secure lock screen will be gone. This method is time-consuming and only works if USB debugging has been enabled on your phone. Of course, this method is not suitable for novices, so we recommend using DroidKit. Thanks for watching if you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you next time.